everyone and welcome to the Discover History YouTube channel. Um, sorry there's been a bit of a delay with me doing these but you'll be pleased to know we've got a cookery one again today and one of the recipes we're doing is a yeoman's pudding. Now it was a Tudor recipe and during the age of the Tudors bread was a staple part of um, everyone's diet. So the rich, the poor, um, everyone in between, bread was an accompaniment with every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So how would they do a yeoman's pudding? Well, the ingredients you need for this is some lovely brown bread with bits in, hopefully the grainier the better. So we've got some fresh bread there. You also need two eggs. We've only got one left now, so uh, you'll need two eggs for that. You will need some honey. Again, we've got our local Worcestershire honey here. You also need some ground nutmeg. And you also need, not here because it's in the fridge, but some milk and some butter. Now, there's no measurements with it other than the eggs that I've given you. So this is where you need to use your senses, your sense of smell and um, guesswork with it. So I'd say add little bits in slowly. Now, yeoman's pudding was eaten by yeomans and farmers, as the name suggests. The very wealthy and the rich thought it was quite a plain meal. And obviously, with things like honey and nutmeg, for the poor, if they were lucky enough to get it, and I'm talking incredibly lucky, this was classed as a treat. So using your ingredients, what you need to do first of all is cut your bread. doesn't matter how you cut it, just do it how you fancy it. The next thing you need to do is take your eggs, so your two eggs, your honey and your nutmeg and beat it together. So if you want to start with your eggs first, slowly add your honey in and then your nutmeg, you can do, there's no right or wrong way with this. Then after that, add a little bit of milk. So just add drops in each time and you'll get a consistency like a batter. So once that's done, what you then need to do is take the butter, put it in a pan and melt it. So while it's melting, what you're then doing is taking your chunks of bread and dipping it into that batter. Add it to your frying pan and very gently on a low heat, you want to sort of fry it. So you're not kind of burning it or cooking it quick. It's very slow and it becomes kind of like a sticky paste on it. When it's done, put it on a plate and then what you should have is something like this. So you can see how the mixture's set on there and it's all sort of fried eggy, crispy as well. Again, as I say, no measurements. It's entirely up to you how you do it. It's all down to your personal preference and taste. But it's an easy one to do. So hopefully you've got the ingredients for this and um, you enjoy it as the yeoman farmers would have done back then in the Tudor times. One thing I forgot to mention at the start, always remember to wash your hands before cooking and handling food. If you've got any recipes you want me to try, any particular period that you're interested in, any vegetable or piece of meat or whatever, let us know. We'll give it a go and um, find something suitable for you. And I have to say, I am loving the photographs you're sending of your attempts at the recipes as well. They have been absolutely fantastic and I'm pleased to hear that you're enjoying them. They will get more harder as we go through. At the moment, as you know, I can't do much cooking at the moment while I recover. So I'm doing the easy ones for my chefs here that are helping me, but also to get you slowly into it as well. Kind of, you know, don't want to scare you all too much by thinking it's too hard as well. So with that in mind, enjoy your Sunday and we'll see you soon. And don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's all there for you. Keep talking to us and we'll keep talking to you. Thanks again. See you soon. Take care.